Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to play with some Lisa Eldridge lipstick. Mine finally showed up, so I'm a little late to the game. I think I was in one of those orders that got um, delayed. <laughs> so I've been watching all these other videos and I'm like, wait, when's mine gonna show up? But anyways, this is my first foray into the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. She had originally launched those beautiful red lipstick line and it sold out within minutes and that's reds are not really what I wear anyways, but I absolutely love Lisa Eldridge. I've watched her forever. I have learned so much from her and I thought today we would play with two of the colors that I picked up. I picked one up in both of the different formulas. Um, I got two that came along with the cute little bag. And as I understand that these did sell out already, but I wanted to go ahead and put this video up because what I heard is she will be restocking. So let's dive in. I got, I, you know guys, I could not decide for the life of me. Um, <laughs> they seemed a little bit, you know, these are definitely outside my wheelhouse, kind of bright and almost neon. I got one of the love of my life. And then this is in the formula, the lusciously lucent lip color. You guys, the packaging is gorgeous, super, you know, luxe and gorgeous. And then I also bought it in the Skyscraper Rose. And this is that unique other formulation that is the, the insanely saturated lip color. You guys, I am hoping you can see, but it really is. It looks like this is so amazing in the bullet. You guys, these are definitely not in my normal. This one I think is totally what, something I would wear, but I decided to go with this bright fuchsia after watching people apply this on their lips. And, um, uh, and it just looked really bright and fun. And I figured that I could wear it in not quite as an intense way. I'm gonna start with the Luminously Lucent Lip Color, just cause I feel like that will be, um, we don't wanna stain the lips too much. I kind of coated my lips just a little bit with um, concealer. And I'm gonna just dab this on first. Ooh, okay. I've never tried any of her lipsticks and evidently this is a new formulation. I love it. <laughs> oh, you guys, this feels so amazing on your lips and I've only just done that little teeny bit. Wow. Okay, so it has that kind of balmy texture but is very moisturizing, but it's not too slippery. So one of the brands that I do like is that YSL uh, Volupte, Day, those kind of lip oils, but sometimes they just kind of slide off your lips a little bit too much. This has a little bit of grip to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this right from the bullet and then kind of... And again, you guys, I don't have the biggest lips for lip swatches, but at least you can kind of see what this looks like on. You guys, I have to say, this one I feel like really livens up your complexion. Um, the feeling is amazing and I like this color a lot. Like I definitely think that it has, um, it feels amazing, but there's something really interesting and unique about this. There's something really unique about this luxuriously lucent lip color. Um, I just feel like it is kind of almost have different reflections with the lip color, if that makes sense. Like the way that it looks here, it looks slightly different on the lips. I really like that. Now she also put this on as blush and I kind of want to do that. So I'm going to just take a little bit, you guys, and uh, ooh, I like this color. This totally reminds me of my mom and my grandma. <laughs> they literally would come around and um, take their lipstick and they would put a little bit of it on my sisters and I. That was one of their things. My mom was one of those who didn't leave the house without her lipstick. Uh, 
And so I just thought it was cute. They would from time to time take a little bit of their lipstick and just put it on our cheeks. Um, and I always forget that, yes, you can totally do that. Okay, I'm really liking that. Um, I feel like that color is really livened up my complexion. Ooh, and I like it. It's kind of magnetized, you guys. It's on my table. Ooh, okay. So happy with this. I am in love with the way it feeling on my lips. I even like the color, even though this is bright for me. I really like it. Kind of don't want to take it off. No. <laughs> we'll put that one back on. Okay, this next one is totally outside my wheelhouse. Um, but I was like, let's just go for it. It seems super pretty and I actually love fuchsia. So I'm going to take this guy off and then we will put that one on. Okay, guys, I just kind of took my beauty blender that I had with my foundation and kind of put that over my lips. And let's go ahead and try the skyscraper rose. Like this is like, wow. So you guys, I'm kind of wanting to do, I've never done like a wing, um, but I would love to do like a kind of black wing with a really bright lipstick, kind of what I would consider like Parisian makeup for fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can carry it off. Um, might have missed that. I should have done it when I was a little younger. But anyways, I think we should try it anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by dabbing. Ooh, wow. Okay, it's kind of, again, you guys, I like the color. It's definitely bright, um, but I feel like I would even wear this because a little, just like that, I'm just gonna take a little dab and then we'll do a full on. Again, I don't have, like the reason I don't wear a lot of bright colors is just I don't have a whole lot of pucker to like really show it off. Um, but the, this does, it kind of has almost like the, Mm, it's kind of has a matte consistency, but not drying, if that makes sense. I'm gonna kind of just take my finger. Um, it feels almost powdery in a really unique way, you guys. Almost like I can kind of, uh, again, it's gonna stain my lips a little bit. Okay, here is just kind of dabbed on, and then for fun, I'm just gonna take the bullet and we're gonna go ahead and put a huge fuchsia lip on. Let's just try it. I'm trying to go a little bit outside, guys, just to create a little lip on myself. Okay, guys. <laughs> My first impression of this guy is just that this is not who I am. I would never wear this bright of a lipstick, but I really liked it when I just dabbed it on just a little bit. Um, this just seems to kind of be overpowering my face but it could be just because i'm not used to wearing bright lipstick like this i do think it's fun and i do think this is one of those kind of pinks that makes your teeth look a little bit whiter i hope um and this is sort of funny okay so let me get the little i don't do lip swatch as much okay this is the skyscraper rose and again i would wear this just very lightly dabbed on the skin. I do think it's a really fun color. And you know what? Sometimes we just have to have fun with makeup. This is not something I, I literally hemmed and hawed, but I was like, oops, if you get two, you gotta get the, you get the little bag with it. If I'm gonna be having it shipped, I might as well do that. I didn't do the other two because I don't personally feel like that salmon pink looks that great with my skin complexion. And then the other one just looked really neon that I just, you guys, I, this is already bold enough for me. Um, but I will tell you already, so in love with this guy, this love of my life. This is a perfect shade for me. I love the consistency. And you guys, I'm gonna have fun with this little bold lip. I think it's fun to try new stuff. And then you guys can let me know if you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, I think I could wear this as a fun, I think we should do a makeup look with this specifically um, to have it kind of stand out, but maybe do a little bit different eye makeup and such. So let me know if you want to see that. And again, I hope this was helpful. I did hear, yes, they're sold out. 
You can purchase them on eBay, but they seem to be going for sort of outrageous prices. And I think I'm pretty darn sure she's gonna be restocking these. So uh, this was my first foray into buying any Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Absolutely adore her and oh, I want one of her rings. You guys, her jewelry is so gorgeous. So that is going on my wish list. Um, it just looks really beautiful and nice. If anybody's purchased one of her rings, let me know. I just think they look amazing. <laughs> um, the, I, the earrings, there's a lot of things on there that I would want besides the lipsticks. So Anyways, I hope this was helpful or a little bit fun, and you guys can let me know what you thought about the lipsticks, if you got them, which one's your favorite, and again, have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you soon.